So the premiere of Andor introduced us to a new faction, Preox Morlana, and I get the feeling it's going to play a larger role in the show as a whole, and even if it doesn't, it's a fascinating sort of concept for a faction that controls a, at least a sizable portion of the free trade sector, and I figured today we could take a closer look at what we know about the company so far, and the role they may play in the larger galaxy. I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to head down below and hit that subscribe button. Before I begin, I will throw out there that this will contain spoilers for the first three episodes of Andor, so if you haven't seen those yet and would like to avoid spoilers, I recommend clicking up here to a video about how the galaxy adjusted to the rise of the Empire. It's spoiler-free. I made it quite a while ago. So let's just jump right in with the basics. Unlike other major galactic factions like the Galactic Empire, the Galactic Republic, and the Confederacy of Independent Systems, Preox Morlana is a corporation, not a formal state. It's a corporation that operates within the free trade sector, a region of the galaxy that the Galactic Empire has sort of ceded over to these corporations in exchange for allegiance to the Empire as a whole. Preox Morlana, or as a lot of the locals call it, Primo, seems to be a corporation that deals in a variety of products, but the most significant arm, at least what we see on screen, is their security and defense forces. We know that their headquarters, or you could call it a capital, was on Morlana 1. We know that they had basic control over most, if not all, of the free trade sector at this time. And we know that every month they held what they called a territorial forum for citizens under their control to file formal complaints against the company. It's likely that these complaints were abruptly thrown into a paper shredder and not responded to uh, because this company has no beholdens to the people under their control. And to keep the people under control, they operate two very specific services, their security services and their defense services. We'll start with their security services. The security services operated by Preox Morlana were basically a police force. We see them very early on in the show as they seem to operate like cops. The formal name for them was corporate security and the proper term to refer to their officers were security officers. While they were primarily responsible for law enforcement, they also carried out a variety of inspections, searching for counterfeit goods and other smuggled cargo. And those inspections would be carried out by a separate unit called the Security Inspection Team, which was a division within the Corporate Security Department. At the head of the Corporate Security Department was a Chief Inspector, and below him was a Deputy Inspector. But they also had a formal defense force, which operated more like a military, and these are called the Corporate Tactical Forces. While they did consist primarily of infantry, as we see in the show, they do operate a series of vessels and a variety of different vehicles, which allow them to more effectively carry out their roles. In fact, you could say that they did operate a small navy, even though it does seem to primarily consist of transport vehicles for moving their troops around. They often operated in remarkably efficient small squads, which would move in groups of three or four to engage targets, often assisting security forces in operations that they didn't feel like they could handle. It's interesting to note that while they are technically functioning like an independent faction, they are often seen as an extension of the Imperial military. This distinction is so significant that at one point they are referred to as the first line of defense for the Empire. But beyond that, we don't know a ton about this company. Is their only specialization security, or do they manufacture something as well? We hear some references that perhaps they have manufacturing divisions or, or mining operations going on, but nothing concrete as of yet. However, I'm sure we'll learn more about this company and the role they play in the larger galaxy in future episodes of Andor. After all, we know that they play a significant role at least within the free trade sector, and if you'd like to learn more about the free trade sector and how it works and how it fits into the Galactic Empire as a whole, I'll leave a link up here to my video on that. And I'd like you to let me know down in the comments whether you think Preox Morlana does something else other than security. Do you think they're just basically a private military corporation that operates within the free trade zone? Sort of maintaining control over these areas, or do you think they're manufacturing something and the security and defense arms of their company are just sort of a byproduct of that? And if you have anything else you'd like to see me cover in Star Wars, leave it down below in the comments. 
Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.